I'm Teresa. welcome to my channel thank you for joining me here today today we're going to be gel printing I'm going to be using some art foamies stamps on the gel plate along with some acrylic paint create some fantastic backgrounds that you can then turn into artist trading cards and cards such as these here in front of me today I'm going to move these out of the way get all set up and I'll be back to show you how it's done as always, I begin with a little rundown of the items I'm using today. The jelly plate that I'm using today is my 5 by 7 inch Jelly Arts gel printing plate. Uh, same one that I used last week and I'm using the same paper incidentally as I did last week which is just this is just from a sketchbook it's just a sort of fairly smooth paper perhaps about 160 GSM um, just a smooth white paper, nothing particularly special, but it's perfect size for this 5 by 7 inch plate. I've got my speedball brayer here. I'm going to be using that today. Um, some Deco Art Americana paints. Um, and I've also got a Deco Art Crafters acrylic paint. Just chose some sort of spring summery colours so I've got daffodil yellow, calypso blue, vintage pink and sea breeze. Also possibility I might use black and white so I've just got a bottle each of those and if I feel like it I might use some metallic I'm not entirely sure at the moment but this is the deco art extreme sheen in vintage brass just in case I want to add a bit of bling to my prints today I'm going to be um, creating pattern using these art foamies stamps for those of you not familiar with art foamies they they are what what they say they are um, really let me just take one out of the packet to show you they are stamps made out of foam. The base of it is this quite condensed foam. And then this is the design that will stamp onto your plate or paper, whatever you're stamping on. Um, they're really lightweight and they're always fairly quite chunky designs um, simply because of the material that they're made out of. And they're absolutely perfect for on the gel plate because you can put paint on your gel plate. If you press the art foamy stamp into it, you can remove paint from the gel plate. You can then stamp down again and re replace that paint elsewhere um really really nice you can then make prints you can use the the art foamy stamps to then add another layer on top of a print if you want to um also really good for using with inks and as well as acrylic paints and things like that i think on the information on the packet yeah used with inks glazes watercolor acrylic paints and more um yeah they're really really nice and for those of you in the UK, like me, the great news is you can now buy them over here in the UK without having to have them shipped from overseas, without having to pay extortionate postage from the US. Um, because the lovely Sarah at Funky Fossil is now stocking them in her shop here in the UK. And I will pop a link in the description below to her shop if you want to go and take a look. She doesn't carry the entire range, um, but she's got a really nice sort of comprehensive range with a good mix of designs, shapes and sizes, things like that. So by all means, if you're interested in using these um, or if you've used them before, but don't don't want to have to pay the shipping to get them over here in the UK, do check out the, the link to Funky Fossil Shop. Um, she also sells stamps, stencils, lots of different things like that as well. So well worth a little look. And full disclaimer, Sarah asked me if I would like to pick a couple of designs of stamps to use in some videos in exchange for a shout out just to promote the fact that, that we are now lucky enough to be able to get these products over here in the UK. So I didn't pay for these stamps. She sent them me free of charge. I'm not expected to give a positive review or anything like that. Um, just to sort of share the fact that we can get them here from her shop. And so that, that's the deal that I've made with her. Um, so I had this set here. Um, this set has five different circular designs in and this is called microcosms and it is by the designer kp i also chose another couple of designs of a stamp which i shall use at a future video but today i'm just going to be using um the some of these round ones from this set here the only other items that i've got are my general cleaning products so i have some paper off to the side that i will use to clean my brayer off i've got paper towel and as always some water in a spray bottle 
and really we're just going to be creating some nice sort of colorful layered um, prints just showing you how you can use um, these art foamies stamps in your gel printing so I'm going to begin by putting some paint down on my plate I'm going to use the brayer to roll it out evenly I'm going to take one of these stamps I'm going to do, choose this one here it sort of makes me think a bit of leopard print and I'm going to just sort of stamp over the surface every so often just gonna stamp off onto my piece of paper if I feel that there's getting a bit too much paint on my stamp and that's going to be my first layer And as you can see, that's left an impression of where um, my stamps removed some paint. I can go ahead and create a second layer. I think I'm just going to make this a partial layer. I like the effect on the green here, with it being a slightly deeper colour on this sort of turquoisey green colour, the impression of the stamps more obvious than it is on this yellow side. So I think I'm just going to put some paint towards one end of my plate this time and just create a bit of a band there. And I think sticking with the same design Just going to stamp and then sort of try and lift and replace some of that pink coloured paint and then placing my print so that this pink area is over this yellow. Create a second layer. And as you can see, that's added a little more definition to this end. And I like the effect how you can sort of, you get the, the positive and negative um, sort of impression from the foam stamp. I'm just going to clean off the remnants of that pink paint. And what I decided to do next is put some black paint on my plate. Perhaps a little bit too much there. Let's just take a bit of that off with a palette knife I don't want too much paint on here we'll roll that out over the surface I'm 
I'm going to take this spiral design this time and almost use my plate as an ink pad. And press the stamp down on it to get some paint onto my stamp. And I'm going to stamp it down onto my print to create an impression. I'm going to do that a few times just to create an extra layer. And that's just created another layer on top. And by using the gel plate in this way, you're only ever going to get a very thin amount of paint on here. You're not going to get a really thick coating on the stamp, which might sort of smudge and splodge. And, and I just think it gives a nice sort of a much crisper image. The thing to do with these is just to give them a gentle rinse under um, a tap or if you've got a little bowl of water just to sort of swill the paint off them and pat them dry on a towel. So I'm just going to clean these off. I'm going to clean my plate and we'll start another print. So I've cleaned my plate. I just uh, pulled a couple of prints pulled this one directly off the plate then added a little bit of the, the turquoise paint just to lift the rest of the black so there's a couple more clean off prints which will uh, come in handy as well and let's put some more paint on and create some more effects using the other designs in the set.
wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely We could be gazing at the stars But now it feels just like I wandered off into a room And closed the door behind me I never gave the key to you Even though I wanted to I should be trying something new But now my body's aching I'm tired of dwelling in the dark It's just that my heart can't take it I didn't know what it would cost me When I let you go I feel alone And I'm just singing mm, mm, mm. It should have been you Another time, another place I just know mm, mm, It could have been you What a crime and what a shame to let go Sometimes I just don't know what to do It should have been you I could be driving to your place But now the crown is shaking Could be a face but it feels like It will never go away Until we make up I can't be myself I never knew how much I my set of finished prints and we've created all sorts of effects really with, with a limited amount of paint with one set of um, art foamy stamps and we've got everything from sort of subtle prints and here we've got a bit of metallic shimmer and a bit of a bold border down the side here we've got colorful prints using different stamps in the background and then stamping on top with a contrasting design and color here we've kept it quite simple, one simple, one small stamp and we've layered that on top of each other and that sort of created shadow and depth. Here again we had quite a contrast with the blue and the white in the background and then just I just stamped across it to create this border. Then we move on to some slightly more subtle um, effects. This here a little bit more muted, just hints of design there in the background this is great um, when you want one of those backgrounds that you want to put a focal image on top so you don't want your background to be too busy this would be absolutely ideal here just using one stamp this spiral stamp i took the the cleanup print which had got the black spirals on it and then i put some coloured paint down on the plate and stamped again with the same design to create this more layered um image and there's lots of depth here where you can kind of almost see the spirals on top of the spirals this one here was another clean off print and then i've gone over it um, with some white and i think that really sort of mutes it down creates quite a sort of moody effect a bright and colorful print here layered print using a couple of different designs i did one print using these um, stamps and then I went over rearranging where the stamps were, rearranging the colours just to create a layered effect. This one here which was a clean off print and then I've stamped on top of it with the white with the flower just to sort of lift it and I really sort of quite like the subtleties in the background there. And then this which was quite a simple print really, just put the, the turquoise and the yellow paint on the plate, stamped onto it with the art foam is to remove some paint and because this left me with such a nice crisp image I didn't bother to put any other layers on top of it, I left this one as it is. So as you can see, lots of sort of options for creating layers, single layers, double layers, printing, stamping on top of prints, um, lots of different ways to work with these Art Foamies stamps. So if you're lucky enough to live in the US, go visit the Art Foamies website, go purchase some of their stamps and I'm sure you'll find that they're absolutely perfect for your gel printing techniques. If like me, you're here in the UK, do check out Funky Fossil's shop link down below and to go and support local business and let's let's make this successful for Sarah there and hopefully she'll continue to stock more and different designs and, and that'll benefit all of us over here in the UK. I'm just going to create a couple of finished projects from these prints which I'll show at the end um, so stick around for the for the end but for now that's all. If you enjoyed this video, leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you again soon. But for now, that's all. Bye.
Should have been you. Another time, another place, I just know.